Are you thinking about moving to Summerlin and want to know all about it? Well, in this video series, we're covering every aspect of Summerlin and leaving no stone unturned. We're going to cover everything from the best parts to live in Summerlin to the pros and cons to what locals think about living in Summerlin. This super guide has it all. Let's dive right in. currently driving on Hualapai, which is one of the major roads in Summerlin. We are driving north toward downtown Summerlin. Yes, Summerlin has its own downtown, and I will say it is one of my favorite places to spend time in. So let's talk about what Summerlin actually is. A lot of people think it's a neighborhood. A lot of people think it's its own city. Well, let me tell you, Summerlin is a master planned community on the western part of Las Vegas. It is actually often rated as one of the top selling master planned communities in the whole entire country. It is very well known for being very nice. It's new, it's luxurious, and it offers a really nice mix of commercial, residential, and recreational elements. Geographically, Summerlin is located along the Spring Mountains and from so many parts of Summerlin, you have beautiful views of the mountains, of the Red Rock Canyon, and of the Las Vegas Strip. Summerlin has great proximity to the Las Vegas Strip. It's anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, and it's a straight shot on the freeway. There's over 100,000 residents in Summerlin, ranging from young professionals, families, to retirees. The population density in Summerlin is a lot lower than the rest of the Las Vegas Valley, so it helps create for a more relaxed lifestyle within this master plan community. Summerlin started to be developed in 1990 by Howard Hughes Corporation and a lot of planning and a lot of foresight went into the development of Summerlin. It is really known as one of the best planned communities, master plan communities within the Las Vegas city. Fun fact, Summerlin was actually named after Howard Hughes' relative whose last name was Summerlin. Okay, so we're headed to downtown Summerlin. Yes, Summerlin has its own downtown. So that's why a lot of people think that Summerlin is its own city, but it's not. But I will say that downtown Summerlin is not your typical downtown. There's no courthouses. There's no typical downtown things. Downtown Summerlin is a stunning outdoor area with shopping and dining. I'm pretty sure there's over 125 stores in downtown Summerlin. There's also fitness studios. They have a Saturday farmer's market that takes place in downtown Summerlin. And overall, it is just a really nice area to hang out, walk around, spend time in. And a lot of Summerlin locals go to downtown Summerlin to enjoy being outside. It has a stunning mountain backdrop. Um, there's also the Las Vegas ballpark, as well as Red Rock Casino that are all around downtown Summerlin. Okay, so we are about to turn into Red Rock Casino and actually ahead of you, you can see the stunning Red Rock. It actually has so many different colors right now. I'm seeing red, I'm seeing dark red, I'm seeing, uh, gosh, there's so many different colors. Just a beautiful backdrop here in Summerlin. So Red Rock Casino is one of the casinos that we have here in Summerlin. It is a station casino and Red Rock has so many different things to offer. A lot of locals spend a lot of time at Red Rock. It has great restaurants. It has a spa. It has a pool. It has, I'm pretty sure it has a movie theater as well. And it has Tesla chargers. Actually, I use their Tesla chargers quite a bit. So locals do spend a lot of time in casinos here in Las Vegas and Summerlin has some really nice ones like Red Rock. So right around the corner here is the Las Vegas ballpark, which is where the Las Vegas minor league baseball team plays. We also have the City National Arena, which is where the Golden Knights practice. They also have youth hockey leagues and other recreational activities there. As you can tell, downtown Summerlin is stunning. They put clearly a lot of thought into developing Summerlin and having it look aesthetically 
very beautiful. The palm trees are perfectly manicured. As you can see, the center part that divides the road also looks really great, really manicured. And Summerlin in general is just known for being aesthetic, beautiful, and very well planned and laid out. Summerlin is one of the first areas of Las Vegas to implement roundabouts as well. You can also see there are commercial buildings all throughout. So there's a lot of offices. There is a WeWork around here where there's just a lot of different type of offices located. There's a mall. Downtown Summerlin is on our right here. And downtown Summerlin is an outdoor mall that has over 125 shops and restaurants. There's a Dave and Buster's, there's Dillard's, there's Macy's, there's Regal Cinemas. So it has everything you need to enjoy your day. There's also apartments over on the left. We're turning in. These apartments are very close proximity to downtown Summerlin. These are the Tanager apartments. These are fairly new. I'm not exactly sure when they were built, but this is great proximity to downtown Summerlin. If you want more of a walking lifestyle, this could offer you that. Downtown Summerlin is actually one of the areas in Summerlin that does offer that walkable element. So if you are someone who wants to walk out their front door and walk to shops, to restaurants, downtown Summerlin is definitely that area that offers this type of lifestyle within uh, the community. There's a lot of construction going on in the area as well. To our left, there's a big yellow building that's covered with construction tape and they are building all over this area. So there's quite a bit of money and development going into Summerlin and downtown Summerlin, and there's constantly construction everywhere. So this community is booming and it has been booming since the 90s and it's not stopping. So as you can see, we are headed towards the highway here. Summerlin has great highway accessibility, which here in Las Vegas, that's super important. You hop on the 215 and you are about 20 minutes away, maybe 25 from the Las Vegas airport, from Las Vegas Strip. Access to highways is really important here in Las Vegas. And while yes, we do have some traffic during rush hour, typically the highways are not filled with traffic and very uh, easy to navigate. Now we're gonna hop on the highway and we're gonna keep going past downtown Summerlin. We're gonna head towards the northern part of Summerlin and check out some other parts of this community. Okay, so we're about to hop onto the 215. We're gonna head north and we're gonna check out some of the communities that are nestled up against the Red Rock. So Summerlin is home to both resale homes, to condos, apartments, as well as a lot of new home builds. There are a lot of new home builders in Summerlin. Some of them include Pulte, Taylor Morrison, KB Homes, Lennar. Summerlin is home to some of the top rated schools within the Clark County School District. We're actually passing Palo Verde High School right now. There's also a lot of really top rated public, private, charter schools. As far as industry goes here in Summerlin, there is obviously entertainment, hospitality, similar to everywhere else in Las Vegas, but there is also a lot of construction. As I mentioned, a ton of new home builders in the area. We're gonna go to some of the communities here in a bit. And also there's a lot of healthcare out here in Summerlin. Summerlin is also very much so known for its golf courses. People talk about golf at Summerlin, all the time. Summerlin is home to the prestigious TPC Summerlin golf course. TPC Summerlin will host a lot of prestigious golf tournaments throughout the year. And there are over 10 golf courses in Summerlin, both private and public. So we're turning left here onto Summerlin Parkway and you see the stunning mountain views up ahead. So I want to show you just how beautiful this backdrop is. A lot of people who really enjoy the mountains 
do really love Summerlin because of its proximity to miles and miles of walking trails, hiking trails, biking trails. Now we're driving down. So as you could see, we are very much elevated and I will talk about Summerlin's elevation here in a bit. It is much higher than the rest of the Las Vegas Valley, but you could see the beautiful Las Vegas Strip views up ahead. Summerlin residents do rave about this. You get the mountain views and you get the strip views. So the elevation of Summerlin is, like I mentioned, higher than the rest of the Las Vegas Valley. It is 3,500 to 4,400 feet above sea level. So that actually makes quite a bit of a difference in temperature. It's about five to seven degrees cooler. So in the summer, when it's 115 degrees, 110 degrees on the Strip or in Henderson, it is a little bit cooler here in Summerlin. And also it is a little bit cooler here in the winter. So while it might be raining on the Las Vegas Strip in December, we could get a dusting of snow up here in Summerlin. Yes, it does snow in Summerlin. I've seen it with my own eyes. My friends actually live very, very close to here. They back up right to the Red Rock Canyon off Lake Mead Boulevard and I have seen snow at their house. Pretty rare for it to stick though. It's usually gone uh, later in the day and it turns into rain, but it is very cool to see snow and there's also snow on the caps of the mountains that are ahead of us. So that's pretty interesting. It's May and you can still see some snow on the mountain caps. Up ahead is Lone Mountain. It's also another great area for hiking, has a lot of trails over there. And a lot of the new developments are out here and they're continuing to expand north. This area right here has a ton of new construction. So I'm gonna take us through a couple of these neighborhoods and point out some of the home builders and show you what these new build communities look like. There is over 250 parks in Summerlin, ranging in size from small, tiny parks to community parks to big parks. And a lot of the communities will have their own parks within the community. They also have their own fitness centers. So for example, Reverence, which is right behind us, has its own 16,000 foot fitness center and a pool with strip views. So you don't even need to join a gym. Summerlin is also home to several 55 and over communities and they're really nice, really great. A lot of them are newer and they also offer amenities like parks and fitness centers and pools. So there's a lot to choose from for our over 55 citizens. So right now, now we are by the new Richmond American community, Osprey Ridge. They are selling new builds. And this area, I will tell you, is booming with new builds. Okay, so we're gonna do a U-turn right here. It's not exactly flat, it is very mountainous, so they do have to flatten a lot of this area. But as you can see, all new builds popping up, single family homes. Look at this view. It's just stunning. You could see the entire Las Vegas Valley from up here. What a vantage point. And if you're someone that loves walking, running, biking, this area just offers so much of that. And it's basically in your backyard. So you don't have to go far to enjoy those activities. Because there are so many new home builders in Summerlin, there is a lot of homes to choose from, a lot of different styles, a lot of different floor plans, a lot of different decor finishings to choose from. So I would say there is something for everyone out here and there's a really nice range of price points as well to choose from. Right now we are by Kestrel Commons, which is another community here. So we'll take a quick drive into Kestrel Commons. This is KB Homes. So if you bought a home in Las Vegas in the 90s, you will find that the style of these new homes is completely different. It is California modern, it is Mediterranean styles. Not every house looks the same. And even within each community, the builder offers a variety of different floor plans that you could choose from. These communities will usually have three, four, five, six different floor plans. A lot of them have model homes that you can go look at to check out what the options are. So you can really see a lot before you invest in a new build. Okay, so up ahead is Red Rock Canyon and there is 
miles and miles of hiking trails. The hiking trails range from beginner to expert. So you don't have to be an avid hiker to take on some of those trails. And in general, Summerlin is created in a way where outdoor activities are very easily accessible. Like I mentioned, walking trails, biking trails, hiking trails. There's parks, there's, Summerlin actually also has a variety of community pools. So if you don't have a pool at your house, there's pools to choose from. Because Summerlin is a newer community, there is a lot of emphasis on sustainability, on conservation of water. A lot of the landscaping that one will find in Summerlin is desert landscaping. As I've mentioned in my past videos, Vegas is having a water shortage. So the city is implementing different things to conserve water. Since Summerlin is a newer master plan community, there is a lot of desert landscaping. There is a lot of uh, turf and the homes are built much more efficiently. So they help conserve energy, especially a lot of these new builds. They put a big emphasis on sustainability and energy efficiency and they use different type of materials that uh, offer that. There's a lot of electric car chargers all around the master plan community that are promoting energy efficiency as well. What makes Summerlin really great is that there is something for everyone here. So if you are a younger person, there's a lot to do for that demographic. If you have a family, there's a lot to do for families. There's great schools, highly rated schools. A lot of parks, a lot of malls. There's a lot of activities for families. And if you are 55 and over, there is a plethora of communities that you could plug into other activities like golf, tennis, pickleball, and so much more. So there's something for everyone here in Summerlin. And no matter who you are, you will be able to find a community that suits your needs. The master plan community of Summerlin is made up of 25 villages and county because there's more popping up, but they're built by different developers and they all have their own unique architectural look and feel. Summerlin is also home to some of the most luxurious communities and neighborhoods in this entire city of Las Vegas. You have the Ridges, you have the Summit Club, super exclusive gated communities where a lot of the celebrities who live in Las Vegas live there. Uh, a lot of the athletes, Mark Wahlberg, hello, Hollywood is coming to Las Vegas. So there is a variety of different housing options in Summerlin, everything from single family homes, condos, apartments, to 20 plus million dollar mega mansions. The median price point of a home in Summerlin is 657,000. So it is definitely higher than the median price point for the Las Vegas Valley as a whole, which is about 460,000 as of April of 2024. The price per square foot in Summerlin is also higher. It's around 330 dollars per square foot. So I recently did a video where I talked to Summerlin locals about living in Summerlin. I like to get out there and ask locals what they think because I think it adds a lot of color to my content and I always want to provide as many different perspectives as I possibly can. And unanimously, Summerlin locals love living in Summerlin. And of course, right, you might think, well, of course you live there, but you know, there was really not a lot of downsides to living in Summerlin according to their feedback. Everyone really enjoys the elements of this beautifully planned master plan communities. It is the number one top selling master plan community in the United States. So it's constantly on the lists for being the best. Right now we're driving on Summerlin Parkway and we are passing Rampart Boulevard, which is where Tivoli Village is. A lot of people actually think that Tivoli Village is in Summerlin. Tivoli Village is a beautiful mall area with uh, restaurants and shopping and it's outdoors. They also do pop up farmers markets and things like that there. It's beautifully designed. It is uh, been there for quite some time and it is on the very outskirts of Summerlin. I myself spend a lot of time in downtown Summerlin. I go to a fitness studio there called True Fusion where they offer a lot of different workout classes, heated 
yoga, he did Pilates, etc. And I also do really love the farmer's market at downtown Summerlin because it happens every Saturday morning. The community comes out there and uh, there's a lot of really cool local vendors for food. Really great for families, really great for young people, really great for everyone. Honestly, downtown Summerlin is just a really nice place to spend your time. There's also a ton of parking, so it's really easy to get in and out and it's right off the freeway. Starting the day by going to my favorite True Fusion class, 8 a.m. yoga. No better way to start the weekend. We did it. It was a hot one, but I'm feeling so good to start my Saturday here in beautiful Summerlin. Since this morning's yoga class, I have gone home, showered up, and I came back to downtown Summerlin for the farmer's market that happens here every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. to pick up some fresh produce. I scored some delicious strawberries, which I absolutely love coming to the farmer's market and getting my produce and supporting the local farmers and just getting yummy, delicious fruits and veggies. I go to this yoga class every Saturday. It's at 815 at True Fusion. And I think it's just an amazing way to start my weekend. By nine o'clock, I've worked out and I'm ready to take on the weekend. And I also get to enjoy the downtown Summerlin vibes and start the weekend off right. If you're wondering what downtown Summerlin is, it is an outdoor shopping mall with shops, restaurants. It is definitely not your typical downtown. It is a place where People come to hang out. It is your leisurely lifestyle place where you can come have lunch, you can shop, you can go to the movies, you could catch a baseball game, you could get a workout in, you could grab your coffee. So anything and everything that you would wanna do on a leisurely Saturday or really any day of the week, you could come to Down Summerlin and enjoy all that it offers. There's so many amazing restaurants here. I actually come to downtown Summerlin a lot. Some of my favorite places here are Lynetta, Makers and Finders, which is an awesome breakfast place. There's Mothership Coffee, which we just passed, and I might pop in to grab a coffee here in a few minutes. You're not gonna find any courthouses or any official buildings, no high rises, nothing like that. Downtown Summerlin is a very different downtown than most other downtowns. Actually, I think I'm ready for that coffee now. So let's go back and grab an iced coffee at Mothership. I just wanna reiterate that downtown Summerlin is truly a one-stop shop. You could spend the whole day here checking up everything off your to-do list. You need to pick up some skincare or makeup that you've run out of while there's a Sephora here. We got the goods at Sephora. If you have a broken iPhone or you just want a new one or you just want to check out the latest Apple products, you got an Apple store here. Want to surprise your husband with a new outfit? Wait a minute, this isn't Lululemon. We found Lululemon. Need help having your kids burn off some energy? Well, there's also a jungle gym here. It is a pretty epic one, as you could tell. The options for stores in downtown Summerlin are truly a collective, and there's something for everyone here. Need to furnish your new house with some art? Well, there's an art gallery back there. Need a new closet? Well, California Closets is right here. Need a new face? <laughs> or a little tuna? There's a med spa over here. Need to do some grocery shopping? Well, there's a Trader Joe's here at downtown Summerlin. Let's go. So it's about 100 degrees out right now. It's the middle of the day on a Saturday. So there isn't that many people using the outdoor 
areas, the grassy areas out here, but they're out here and normally there's people hanging out with their dogs, with their kids. Just a really great place to take a break and hang out when you want to relax for a little bit and take a break from shopping. So we just spent a couple hours in downtown Summerlin. As you could tell, there is so much to do and so many different stores. I mean, there's so many different stores that I didn't even mention, but there's everything from Nordstrom Rack, Old Navy, there's West Elm. So there's just a lot here. And I frequent downtown Summerlin a lot for just a variety of different reasons, but now we're gonna move on to a different part of Summerlin. We're actually gonna go have lunch at one of our favorite spots. So let's go and get some food. We're driving to the Eastern part of Summerlin to have lunch at a restaurant called Flower Child. But I wanted to mention that there are actually quite a few office buildings in near downtown Summerlin, as well as apartments and they're pretty new apartments actually. And the whole area is very walkable near downtown Summerlin. So if you're someone who is looking to live somewhere that is fairly central within Summerlin, that has walkability, that is close to shopping, restaurants, grocery stores, I would say that downtown Summerlin is a really great place for that. And there's lots of options for housing, which I think is, uh, something that makes downtown Summerlin super cool. So in addition to Trader Joe's, I wanted to mention that there is also a Whole Foods in Summerlin. There's a Sprouts, there's Albertsons. So there's a lot of options for grocery stores, which I know is super important. There's also a lot of CVS's, a lot of Rite Aid's, so a lot of convenience stores all around Summerlin as well. There's also a Smith's, I forgot to mention, and a Home Depot, there's banks, there is everything that you honestly could possibly think of there's a pet smart so they really had convenience in mind when they built summerlin and that is one of the key selling points for so many people is the level of convenience that you find within this community Okay, so we just finished up lunch and my day in Summerlin is not just shopping and lunching. I'm actually headed to a new build community in Summerlin that just opened in March. It's called the Monument at Reverence. It's a new townhome community actually. And I'm checking it out for a client of mine from out of town who is coming to visit in a couple of weeks and is interested in looking at new builds. I've actually been here once before and they had just opened. So I'm really excited to see the progress that they have made in this community and also show you guys. It's a Pulte community. And also in this part of Summerlin, there are a ton of new home builders. There is, in addition to Pulte, there is KB Homes, there's Richmond American, and just lots of options just to the right of us. It's all new builds, it's homes, it's townhomes. So there's a lot of options and I'm excited to show you guys this community. So let's go right in. Okay, so there are three floor plans within this townhome community. They have a couple of quick move-in options, which means that you can move in in June, July, August. These townhomes are already created or you could reserve a spot somewhere within the community and that typically takes about six months from when you put in your deposit to when you're able to move in. I would say six months is probably the standard for a lot of new builds, but a lot of new build communities also do offer quick move-in options for anyone who is looking to get into a new home sooner. Okay, let's go check out our first floor plan. Come on in. So check out this stunning mountain view that is right outside of this townhome. 
This community is nestled right up against Red Rock. I mean, the views are unbeatable. The Reverence community as a whole is just known for its stunning mountain views and stunning strip views because from some of these townhomes, you are also going to be able to see the strip because they have a third level open patio. So we're going to make our way over there, but this is such a notable feature of this new community and why I wanted to come out here and show you guys these new townhomes and also check them out for my client who is looking for something that is on this side of town that is a new build. So the cool thing about new builds is you get to A, customize the finishings of your home. You get to pick and choose what you want the walls to look like, what you want the counters, the cabinets to look like, and a lot of them, actually I think most of the new home builders offer really great interest rate buy downs. For example, this one is offering 4.99 and they're also offering cash or percentage of the total cost towards your closing costs. So if you're interested in new builds, it's actually a really great time to look into them because a lot of them are very competitive as far as their interest rate buy downs and closing costs. So you can save some money during your home buying process and you can get into a brand new home. So it's kind of a win-win. Okay, so this floor plan is 1600 square foot. It's two stories, it's three bedrooms, and it starts in the high 400s. So next we're gonna look at another floor plan that starts in the high 400s. 493 is the starting price. The next floor plan that we're gonna see has a stunning rooftop deck that has strip views and mountain views. So let's go check it out. Okay, get excited for this roof deck because it's pretty epic. Okay, that was so fun. I'm so happy I got to take you guys along for a tour of one of my favorite new home communities here in Summerlin. But that's enough work for today. I'm actually gonna head home to get ready for a night out in Summerlin. Me and my hubby are gonna go grab dinner at one of our favorite Mexican spots inside Red Rock. I'll take you along for that. And we're gonna hit up the Las Vegas ballpark for a little baseball. Okay, so we are back in downtown Summerlin. We are at Red Rock Casino for dinner. We are going to our favorite Mexican restaurant, Leoncito. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend it. Amazing, it's fairly new. I think it opened within the last six months. So we're really loving it here. And just to tell you a little bit about Red Rock Casino, it is a Summerlin locals hangout spot. It is right in the center of Summerlin, nearing downtown Summerlin, and it has restaurants, it has live music venues, it has a movie theater, it even has bowling. So there's so much to do here, and it is definitely a great place if you are living in Summerlin and you don't want to drive to the Strip, you get an amazing casino like Red Rock and you get all of the perks and benefits of that luxury Vegas casino, but you don't have to drive to the Strip. So definitely a local's favorite and I can't wait to go have some dinner and catch a baseball game. I also want to mention that Red Rock has a live music venue. It is outside. There's also a music venue inside. Rock's Lounge, it's right behind me. You could see comedy here. You could see your favorite artist. So it also includes all of that type of entertainment here as well. And there's an amazing spa here. So you do not have to drive to the strip for that amazing massage experience either. There's so many amazing restaurants here at Red Rock, including Blue Ribbon Sushi, Yard House, Lotus of Siam, but tonight, we're going to 
Leoncito, for Mexican chips and salsa, margaritas, you can't beat that. But definitely so many amazing culinary options here inside Red Rock. So what's so nice about Red Rock is you can walk to downtown Summerlin through this beautiful pathway. It's very walkable over here. Okay, so I got to Summerlin at 8.15 this morning and it's now about 10 p.m. So I've been here for the full day because I wanted to show you guys what a fun day in Summerlin could look like. Of course, I did not cover all of the things that there is to do in Summerlin. There's so much more. And I just really wanted to showcase that Summerlin has so much to offer. And ending the night here at the ballpark just is giving me small town vibes. It's reminding me of my hometown of the Midwest. So it definitely does not feel like we're anywhere near the strip here at this ballpark. There's families here. There's couples on date night here. So there is every single demographic that you could see here. And it's really fun. It's just a really great way to end the day. Starting with pro number one, Summerlin is a nice place to live, offering a great quality of life. Summerlin is a beautifully planned master plan communities. It's often voted as one of the top master plan communities in the United States. It is very well manicured. It has so many parks, over 230 to be specific. It has beautiful desert landscaping. It has really nice outdoor malls, downtown Summerlin, for example. If you live in Summerlin, your property values have gone up significantly over the last several years. So obviously very beneficial to current homeowners living there. If you're in the market for a new construction home, there are plenty of new home builders that are building up in Summerlin. There's so many builders to choose from, from KB Homes to Pulte to Toll Brothers, so much more. And they all offer a variety of different styles of homes. So there's a little bit for everyone. And these new builds are fairly available or you might have to wait a couple months, but there's just a lot to choose from if you don't want to get a resale home. When it comes to living, if you are somebody who is younger, there's a lot of options for you. There's a lot of different apartments. There's a lot of new apartments that are popping up. Some are walking distance from downtown Summerlin if you're looking for that more walkable lifestyle. If you have kids and a family, there's definitely something for you in Summerlin when it comes to living. There's townhomes, there's single family homes, and there's also quite a few 55 and older communities. For example, Sun City Summerlin is one of the biggest communities, one of the well-known communities, and there's several others to choose from for active seniors and they have really cool amenities like walking trails, clubhouses, fitness centers, you name it. Like I said, there's something for everyone in Summerlin. Lots of options to choose from when it comes to housing and it is really a nice place to live. And this brings me to con number one. Because Summerlin is such a desirable place to live for a lot of people, the cost of living in Summerlin is higher than the rest of the Las Vegas Valley. To sum it up, it is more expensive to live in Summerlin. The median price point for a single family home in Summerlin is $645 thousand dollars and it's about three hundred and twenty eight dollars per square foot and this is definitely higher than the rest of the las vegas valley it's also appreciated at a really fast rate the price points for single family homes are up by 17 percent just over last year. To give you an example, one of my friends bought a home in one of the new communities in Summerlin, one of the new build communities by Pulte Homes called Reverence. He bought a home there in 2020 for around $900,000. That home is currently worth around 2.5 million. 
A home right across from them just sold for 2.5 million. It's a very similar floor plan. So the appreciation has been very rapid and the property values are just going up drastically. This is obviously really great for my friends and other people who purchased within that community, which opened in 2017, but a massive con for someone who is trying to move into the community in 2024. This brings me to con number two, and that is additional fees, including HOAs and SIDs. There's basically no escaping HOA fees if you live in Summerlin. While there are some areas on the outskirts of Summerlin that don't have HOA fees, but for the most part, you are gonna be in an HOA community, whether it is gated, guard gated, or not gated. And of course, these fees range from 20, 30, $40, upwards of hundreds of dollars a month. Something else that is unique to master plan communities like Summerlin are SIDs, which are special improvement district fees. These fees are attached to the properties and they are required and they go towards improvements of sidewalks, curbs, gutters, lighting. In newer parts of Summerlin, like the Reverence community, these SID fees are gonna be on the higher side, around $750 a year. But in areas that are on the more affordable side when it comes to cost of housing, for instance, the Pueblos, these fees are around $50 a month. SIDs are similar to HOA fees, but they're actually added on on top of your HOA fees. So if you are living in a master plan community like Summerlin, you are gonna pay some sort of an SID fee. And they don't mess around. If you don't pay your SID fees, they will foreclose on your home, even if your home is paid off. So fees like the HOA fees and SID fees are definitely a double-edged sword. And some might consider this a pro because while these fees could be on the annoying side to pay an additional cost every month, but it does ensure that communities stay well manicured, they keep order within the community, and they help maintain your property value. Moving on to pro number two, and that's Summerlin's design. Summerlin's design is impeccable. A lot of foresight and planning went into the design of Summerlin by the Howard Hughes Corporation. Summerlin's modern urban planning principles were designed to create a vibrant, sustainable community that's very easy to live in, very easy to navigate, that's very convenient in nature. There was a lot of careful thought that went into the design of Summerlin and its roads and its highway system particularly. So the roads are very wide. You'll see a lot of roundabouts, which you don't really see in other parts of Las Vegas that help regulate the flow of traffic in a really safe way. Also the 215 and the Summerlin Parkway, they go through Summerlin, so it provides easy access in and out of Summerlin. You can jump on the freeway very easily and head both north and south. There really isn't a ton of traffic or congestion in Summerlin because of its well-designed nature. Summerlin was carefully and thoughtfully designed into over 25 different villages that cater to different demographics and offer a lot of different design styles. So there's Spanish styles, there's Mediterranean style homes, condos, townhomes. So really a little bit of everything when it comes to the style of homes that are available across these 25 plus villages in Summerlin. A lot of emphasis went into creating parks and open spaces. There are over 230 parks. There's a lot of pedestrian friendly design aspects. So there's a big emphasis on people getting outside, walking, running, biking. There's a ton of biking trails. There's actually the 215 Beltway Loop, which allows bikers to ride along the 215 highway for miles. It's very easy to get on and off this path. There's a big emphasis in Summerlin's design on being outside, being active, and just being out and about in a really easy manner. Summerlin also offers a lot of walkability. So particularly near downtown Summerlin, there's a lot of apartments that are in walking distance to all of the shops, all of the restaurants. So if you're someone that really enjoys that walking lifestyle, then Summerlin does offer 
for that for you. The careful planning extends beyond residential and recreation into commercial space. So for example, shops, businesses, business parks are all very well designed and easily accessible. Downtown Summerlin is a great example of dining, shopping, business, all in one area, very easily accessible. There's parking all around downtown Summerlin. I never have an issue finding a parking spot, which is amazing. It's easy to get in and out and it offers a lot all in one area. I could go on and on about the design of Summerlin. It's one of my favorite parts of Summerlin. I actually recently recorded a video and it's a comprehensive guide on Summerlin. So make sure to check out that video. I go over Summerlin in detail and I do focus on its master plan and how thoughtfully it is laid out and planned. Moving on to con number three, and that is Summerlin's public transportation. Overall, Las Vegas is not super well known for having the most robust public transportation system. Of course, it does offer some options, which is great, but the options in Summerlin are more limited. While there are some options connecting Summerlin to the rest of Las Vegas, for example, there are the RTC bus routes, including the Route 206, which connects Summerlin to downtown Las Vegas and the Las Vegas Strip. And there are some express routes that connect Summerlin to downtown Las Vegas and other parts of the city with limited routes. But those options are still fairly limited. I personally think that having a car is very important borderline a requirement just because Summerlin in itself is pretty spread out and the Las Vegas Valley is also very spread out. It's definitely something that makes your commute much more convenient. Of course, there's also Uber and Lyft and those are great options, but I would definitely say the public transportation is limited compared to other cities and communities within other cities. I will say if you are someone that wants to live in Summerlin, but does not want to have a car or is not able to have a car, living in downtown Summerlin is a great option because downtown Summerlin is super walkable. There's apartments that are just minutes away from downtown Summerlin and Red Rock. So it makes that shopping, entertainment, dining area super easily accessible. And you could walk to Trader Joe's, which is located also in downtown Summerlin. So if you're looking for the most walkable part of Summerlin, it is downtown Summerlin. Okay, so moving on to pro number three, and that is outdoor activities. Summerlin is just an amazing place for outdoor activities. There is so many options when it comes to doing things outdoors, everything from parks to hiking trails, to biking trails, to golf, to pools, to tennis, pickleball courts, basketball courts, and outdoor malls. Summerlin is nestled by the Spring Mountains and Red Rock Canyon. So there are miles and miles of hiking trails and walking trails all around the area. And the trails range from beginner to moderate to very strenuous. So there's a lot of options for everyone. There's basically trails all around Summerlin for pedestrians, for walkers, for runners, for bikers, and just anyone who is wanting to be outside and be active. There are 10 golf courses in Summerlin alone. There are many more around Las Vegas, but Summerlin has some amazing golf courses. One of the most famous golf courses in Summerlin is the TPC Summerlin. It is famed, it is very well known. A lot of people want to play TPC Summerlin. It's a bucket list item for a lot of golfers. And they've also hosted the PGA Tour at TPC Summerlin. There are a lot of communities in Summerlin where you can actually walk out your front door or your back door and you are just minutes away from Red Rock Canyon. A friend of mine lives in Reverence, which I've mentioned before, and I've actually walked out of her house when I was staying with her with my dog and I was able to just start hiking right outside of her neighborhood. So it took me one minute to get on the hiking path. So the accessibility for hikes in Summerlin is just unreal. It's so easy and there's so many options. And speaking of hiking mountains, and this brings me to pro number four, and that is Summerlin tends to be a couple degrees cooler. Because of Summerlin's elevation, which is 3,500 feet, it tends to be a couple degrees cooler, both in the summer and in the winter. 
So in the summer, when it's 110 degrees on the strip and in other parts of the valley, it is a little bit cooler in Summerlin. So you do get a little bit of that relief, especially if you want to be outside, go on hikes, go on runs, you do get that little break. I mean, it is a couple degrees and it's still very hot. So it's not a massive difference, but it does help a little bit. Also in the winter, those couple of degrees make a difference and you could see some snow, you could see some flurries. Of course, that snow doesn't stick and you won't see it on the ground for more than a couple of hours. And while you won't even see it at all on the Las Vegas Strip, you do get glances of snow in the winter up by the Red Rock Canyon. I did a quick search and I found out that temperatures drop by three and a half degrees for every thousand feet that you increase in elevation. And some parts of Summerlin go up to about 5,000 feet in elevation. So that could mean about eight degree difference in temperature from the lower elevations on the Las Vegas Strip to Summerlin. And while we're on the subject of weather, this actually brings me to con number four and that is the wind in Summerlin. I recently did a video where I came out to downtown Summerlin and I asked locals about living in Las Vegas and that day the winds were so high that my hair was whipping everywhere. We had to keep changing locations because it was just even too windy to talk to people with my microphone because of the, the sound was getting muffled and quite a few of the people that I spoke with actually mentioned the winds as something that they didn't like about being in Las Vegas. And the reason why it is windy, particularly in Summerlin, is its proximity to the Spring Mountains. Dry air comes up from the west over the mountains, and as it whips down, it picks up speed, creating gusts of winds in Summerlin. And I spent a lot of time in Summerlin, and I will say that it is windy often. I was recently at my friend's house who lives in Summerlin and their furniture was flying, the, the cushions that you sit on that do have some weight to them were flying and they do have to take precautions and chain things up and put things away because it is windy very often and the winds are strong so furniture could get picked up and it is something definitely to be pretty cautious about. The winds are not unique to Summerlin. You will definitely experience winds on the Las Vegas Strip and Henderson and other parts of the Las Vegas Valley, but Summerlin does tend to be a bit more windy because of its proximity to the mountain. And there recently has been a storm where there was trees knocked down, there was some pretty severe damage that happened from the winds. So it is uh, something that the locals do mention and that I see for myself quite often. Moving on to the last con that I could find, and trust me, it was really hard to find any more cons about Summerlin, but this one might not even be a con for some people, but I will say that it is a con for me, and that is its proximity to the Las Vegas Strip and the airport. So being a real estate agent, I am someone who drives a lot and spends a lot of time all over the valley in Henderson, Lake Las Vegas, in downtown. I am also someone who flies a lot, so proximity to the airport is really important to me. So Summerlin is about 20 to 25 minutes away from the airport, depending on where you are. In Summerlin, from downtown Summerlin, it's about 20 minutes. So while you might think 20 minutes is really not that far, Sometimes you might hit traffic, though there's been a lot more traffic in Las Vegas in recent years because there's a lot more construction and road work. The city is working really hard to accommodate a lot more cars on the road. It's doing a lot of improvements. So all good stuff, but definitely creates a lot more construction and the construction actually leads to longer times traveling around the strip, around the airport. You know, it's not really that far of a distance, but it still makes a difference being closer to 15 or 10 minutes away from the airport, maybe 12 minutes, makes it a little bit easier. And also just being more central for someone like myself who navigates a lot of the different parts of the valley is important. To give you an example, if I had to meet a client in Lake Las Vegas and I lived in Summerlin, it would take about an hour for me to commute over there. 
while from the Las Vegas Strip, it's about 35 minutes, so it does cut down that time. But especially in rush hour traffic, that time increases by quite a bit. I would say that this is a con for me specifically because I am someone who goes to a lot of the different parts of the Las Vegas Valley and often travels. So those things are really important to me. This might not be a con for someone who does not work on this strip or visit the strip often. I know a lot of Summerlin locals like to spend their time in Summerlin or in Southwest, but I'm also someone that has a lot of visitors that come to Las Vegas and they oftentimes want to go to restaurants on the strip and want to sightsee on the strip and want to go out on the strip. So that commute back and forth would also be something that would um, add a little bit of a difficulty. So all in all, I know that Summerlin is really not that far from the strip and from the airport. So con for me, but perhaps not a con for a lot of people and that's okay, that might be the case. I wanted to squeeze in one more pro into this video and that is Summerlin's highly ranked schools. Summerlin is part of the Clark County School District and over the years, Summerlin has really performed well on the list of highly ranked schools there's over 25 public and private schools in Summerlin. Some of the highly regarded schools in Summerlin are West Career and Tech Academy, Palo Verde High School, and private schools including the Meadows School, Faith Lutheran Middle and High School, and Alexander Dawson. Schools in Summerlin are known for their strong academic programs, high test scores, and great college placements. Many of these schools boast modern facilities, including advanced technologies within classroom, athletic fields, and art centers. While Nevada as a state has not ranked the highest on a lot of the education lists, the schools in Summerlin often rank very high on the list. For example, the West Career and Tech Academy in Summerlin ranks number two in the whole state of Nevada with over 95% graduation rate, with US News giving it a score of 97 out of 100. First thing to consider before making the move to Summerlin, are the extra fees. They say that the two things that are guaranteed in life are death and taxes, but in Summerlin, you're also guaranteed to pay SIDs. SID stands for Special Improvement District. SIDs are placed on the property by the home builder or the developer. When a developer builds on unimproved land, the city needs to install basic services like sewer, streets, street lights, etc., to provide for the residents. The developer is actually tasked with paying these fees, but what ends up happening in master plan communities like Summerlin is the developer tax on these fees to the properties that are within that community. So these fees come with the property. So if you buy a home in Summerlin, you, in addition to paying for an HOA fee, if you're in an HOA community, you are also gonna have to pay an SID fee. Typically, these fees are attached to the property for 10 to 20 years until they're paid off. So typically, no one will pay these fees off early because they usually come with a prepayment penalty. And by paying off these fees early, it doesn't actually improve the value of your property. So there's really not that much incentive. If you sell your home, this fee gets passed on to the next homeowner. It comes with the property itself. So there really is no escaping these SIDs if you are someone who's living in Summerlin within this beautiful master plan community. And if you're thinking, mm, maybe I just won't pay it. Well, it doesn't quite work like that. You don't pay your SID fees. They can come after your home and repossess it. So unless you want to deal with that, you better pay those SID fees. SID fees vary depending on which SID area you live in within the community. I did a quick Reddit search and I found a couple of numbers that I wanted to share with you. This is just from three months ago. Someone said that their SID fees inside the Reverence community are $750 a year. Reverence is one of Summerlin's newer communities. 
The homes in there cost around two and a half million dollars. Of course, there's a range, but that just to give you an idea, this community has been around since 2017. Also, I found numbers for the Pueblos. For the Pueblos, the SADs cost $55 a month. So there's definitely a big range and it really just depends on which area. And while we're on the subject of SIDs, this brings me to reason number two that you might consider not moving to Summerlin and that's another acronym and that is HOAs, Homeowners Associations. So Las Vegas as a city has a lot of homeowners associations. Summerlin in itself also has so many homeowners associations. It's actually pretty hard to find a home that is not in a homeowners association in Summerlin. So if you're looking to move to Summerlin, you're likely going to be a part of an HOA. There are pros and cons with HOAs. The pros are is that there's a governing body that looks after the community. There's rules set in place, so people have to follow them. You're not gonna find vehicles parked all over the streets. Your neighbor's not gonna have their RV or their boat in the driveway. That's typically a no-no, and you do see a lot of that in non-HOA communities here in Las Vegas. HOA is a governing body that makes sure that all of the residents within the community are following the same rules. And likely, you know, your community is gonna stay really nice because of these reasons. The cons of HOA communities, however, is the rules. In addition to the rules, HOAs cost money. The prices of HOAs vary greatly in Summerlin. You might find an HOA cost of $50, or you might find an HOA cost of $1,000. And of course, the prices depend on what you're getting with the HOA community. A lot of communities in Summerlin are gated or guard gated. So that security is definitely an added cost. The maintenance of the grounds, of the grass, the pools, the tennis courts, amenities, right? So depending on what you're getting within the community, that price point is gonna go up. And because Summerlin does provide so much to its residents, especially within these HOA communities, those prices tend to be pretty high. HOA fees are never going away either. It's a monthly fee or a quarterly fee or a yearly fee that you end up paying, but that fee will never go away. And as long as you are a resident within an HOA community, you're always gonna have that added cost. And the cost of HOAs actually do tend to go up every couple years with inflation. There's different additions to the HOA and you know, there's really nothing that you can do about it except for pay them. And while we are on the subject of money, reason number three why you might not consider moving to Summerlin is a higher cost of living. To give you an idea, the cost of a median price point for a single family home in Las Vegas is $472,000 and this is the most recent data as of May 2024, but a median priced home in Summerlin is going to run you an average of $620,000. So that is a significant spike from the rest of the Las Vegas Valley. Of course, Summerlin is still in Las Vegas, so Summerlin does bring up the median price of a single family home for the whole entire valley. And what's really interesting is different parts of Summerlin are definitely higher than other parts. Summerlin West tends to be on the higher end of the median priced homes within Summerlin. It is $811,000. It's almost double the median price for the Las Vegas Valley and around $200,000 more than other parts of Summerlin. Moving on to consideration number four, and that is the wind. I recently went out onto the streets of Summerlin to talk to locals about what they liked and didn't like about living in Summerlin. And consistently, one of the top things that locals brought up about Summerlin that they didn't like was the high winds that occur very often in Summerlin. Because of Summerlin's location, it's nestled up against the Red Rock Canyon and its proximity to the Spring Mountains. The winds whip over the mountain and they come in hot into Summerlin. And just like that, your furniture is flying in your backyard. 
your things are flying everywhere, your hair is everywhere, and the winds come often and they come at all times of year. So it's definitely something that's pretty noticeable every time I'm in Summerlin. Some parts of the day it could be totally fine and there's no winds, and that can change so quickly and then all of a sudden you're just in a windstorm. So if you're living in Summerlin, you have to be prepared for those winds. One of my friends who lives by the Red Rock Canyon has a really nice backyard with a lot of cushions and furniture in his backyard. And oftentimes he does have to hook everything together because when the winds come, everything starts flying. So it could be really dangerous if it's you know, a chair that's flying in the sky or your property just gets destroyed really easily if you don't make sure that you're preventing everything from flying around and to tie it together and just consider that it could happen at any time. And while the winds might be slightly more pronounced in Summerlin, you definitely can't escape the winds in the Las Vegas Valley as a whole. It's something that all of the locals always mention to me when I ask them about the winds or something that they don't like about Las Vegas. They always bring it up. So whether you're on the strip where I actually used to live, whether you're in Henderson or other parts of the Las Vegas Valley, the winds are just there, they don't go away, and it's just part of the Las Vegas climate. Moving on to reason number five that you may not want to live in Summerlin, and that is all of the wildlife and all of the critters that are found in Summerlin. So as you guys know from my past videos, there's so much new construction in Summerlin and when the new construction, the new home builders are doing a lot of digging, they're digging land that has been uninhabited. So close to the mountain, out there where nothing else is around. So you might find some scorpions in your backyard. You might see a mountain lion. You might see a coyote walking around. You definitely have to be pretty mindful of this if you have animals if you have kids or just for yourself. If you step on a scorpion, well, it's not deadly, but you definitely do have to go get that handle pretty immediately. Just the other day, we were hanging out in my friend's backyard in Summerlin. We were hot tubbing and we saw a scorpion right there. His backyard is very well groomed, very well manicured, but he does live really close to Red Rock Canyon in a new construction community. So he told us that he finds those very often. He actually has this black light that he uses to shine around and look for scorpions because they actually light up in the dark, which I actually did not know until just recently. Oftentimes, Summerlin residents will spot mountain lions and coyotes in their backyards on their nest cams. There's news articles about it. People talk about it all the time. I actually talked to a Summerlin local recently as part of my interviews, and he brought up all of the cool wildlife that walks out of the Red Rock Canyon onto the streets of Summerlin, which was, uh, you know, scary and funny at the same time. But you do have to be mindful, even though Las Vegas is a big city, Summerlin is located super close to the canyon where there's a lot of open area, a lot of hiking trails. So something to be mindful of and definitely something to watch for. Reason number six that you might want to look at and that is the cookie cutter feel of homes in Summerlin. Because Summerlin is a master plan community that is made up of a lot of different villages, each of those villages have the same look and feel. So in a lot of parts of Summerlin, you'll find homes that look pretty much identical to your neighbor on the left, to your neighbor on the right, and to your neighbor across the street, and really to your neighbor all around your neighborhood. So if you're someone who is looking for a unique custom home, you're likely not going to be able to find that in Summerlin. Obviously with the HOAs and the master plan community feel, there's a lot of uniformity that you might not find in other parts of Las Vegas. For example, North Las Vegas or Section 10, one of my personal favorite neighborhoods. And the reason for that being is because all of the homes in Section 10 are so different. So if you are looking for a variety, if you want a unique home that stands out from your neighbors, you're likely not going to find that in Summerlin. Just like most HOA communities, there's a lot of limitations that you have 
with your home. Just to give you an example, you might be limited to just a handful of colors if you want to paint your home. It might be cream, it might be sand, it might be gray, it might be brown. You definitely can't go too out of the box in most HOA communities. And anytime that you want to make any changes like painting or adding on anything to your home, any sort of modifications, you do have to go through your HOA and you have to submit an architectural review form. And it's quite the process. And if you want to do something crazy and stand out from your neighbors, the HOA might not approve that because they want all of the homes to look very uniform and very much so the same. While there's definitely a variety of different home builders in Summerlin, including Toll Brothers, Pulte, Richmond American, there is still a lot of similarities within each of those neighborhoods. So for example, the Reverence community that I spend a lot of time in, it's all built by Pulte Homes. The new Reverence community that's being built right down the street, it's also being built by Pulte Homes. You're gonna find a lot of the same finishings inside, a lot of the same coloring on the outside and just overall the same look and feel. And this also goes for some of the older villages within Summerlin. There were only a few builders when Summerlin started in the 90s. So each of the villages definitely has the same look and feel. While well, you might find variety within the different villages, but within each of the villages, there's definitely a lot of similarities. And while we're on the subject of the look and feel of your home, this brings me to reason number seven to consider, and that is the size of your lot. Summerlin has smaller lot sizes than the rest of the Las Vegas Valley. To give you an example, the neighborhood that I moved into recently in Las Vegas, Spanish Oaks, it's been here since the 70s. And while all of the homes definitely have a very similar look and feel within the community, the courtyards and the backyards and the trees within the community within each of the homes definitely vary greatly. Some people have very big backyards, some people have very big courtyards, front yards. There's a lot of variety within this older neighborhood. There's also a ton of trees and a ton of greenery within this community. Whereas Summerlin, of course, a newer master plan community, there is a lot less trees and a lot less greenery because the community is using a lot more desert landscaping. And that's, of course, for efficiency with water. Las Vegas doesn't have that much water to water all the greenery and the trees that's already here. And also, trees take up space. So why put in a tree and a courtyard when you can squeeze in another home. There's definitely a lot less space in Summerlin between you and your next door neighbor. And your backyard might be quite a bit smaller than a home that you might find in North Las Vegas or Section 10 or even in Spanish Oaks. Some of the neighborhoods that have been in Las Vegas for a lot longer than Summerlin. Number eight, the last thing on my list to consider is lack of public transportation. So you move to Summerlin and you're excited to be within the community and maybe you decide to give up your car or decide to have a walking lifestyle where you might have a hard time getting around inside Summerlin and outside of Summerlin. Las Vegas is a very spread out city and for the most part people do drive to get around. While there's definitely some public transportation in Summerlin, there is a couple of different bus routes that run up and down Charleston. And there's buses that go from Summerlin to downtown and then buses that go from Summerlin to the Las Vegas Strip, but they're pretty limited. But in general, you're gonna have a really tough time getting around if you don't have a car. So unless you're planning to be biking, you're definitely gonna be pretty limited to your public transportation options. There is bike trails around Summerlin and of course you can walk if you live somewhere close to a grocery store or downtown Summerlin. But in general, you're gonna have a pretty hard time getting around Summerlin and the larger Las Vegas city area without a car. Of course there's Lyft and of course there's Uber and you might have some luck with public transportation, but overall it does make things a little bit more challenging to not have a car in Summerlin.
What's your name? I'm Dennis. I'm Gary. Sage. Marissa. Tyler. Brian. Shayna. How long have you been living in Summerlin? A little over three years. Okay, and what made you choose Summerlin? Taxes. <laughs> and the private schools. Yes, yeah, so we've got uh, daughters in private schools. I've been here for seven months now. Seven months? Okay, so brand new. Where did you move from? West Hollywood. Okay, and what was the draw from West Hollywood to Summerlin? Cost of living. No state income tax, much cheaper. You can have a house for a fraction of the cost of a one-bedroom condo in West Hollywood. Still close distance uh, to L.A., though. I'm back there like twice a month. But uh, yeah, cost of living really moved the new. I have been a Summerlin resident for four years. And what originally drew you to moving to Summerlin? That was my wife, actually. So I was a Green Valley Ranch lifer for about 13 years. Met my now wife, and she was like, if you're going to be with me long term, we're going to Summerlin. So I've uh, been there ever since, and I love it. Two months, actually. Ooh, where did you move from? Uh, San Jose, California. Lots of Californians. What made you choose Summerlin? Uh, well, Nevada. Nevada. I've been a big fan of Nevada for a long time. I moved to Summerlin when I was seven, and I am 34. Give or take like a few years that I lived in California, but I don't know how many years that is. It's like over 20-something years, probably. Well, I've been in Summerlin for a year. Okay, and uh, what drew you to moving to Summerlin? Uh, I have family here and just, I don't know, graduated college and needed somewhere to go, I guess. Ten years now. Wow. And what originally had you moved to Summerlin? Well, my parents made the move from Connecticut to Summerlin. And I have to say that of all the areas in Las Vegas, Summerlin is probably most like Connecticut in the sense that there's greenery all around. What do you like about living in Summerlin? Uh, this is suburbia on steroids. Uh, there's everything you could ever want within a mile, two mile radius, uh, whether you buy, eat, anything you wanted to buy. Yeah, certainly you can get it. And it's so quick and easy and the roads are uh, you know, three lanes in the middle of our little suburbia, so it's fantastic, yeah. Easy to get around. There is so much more to Las Vegas than people think. Like with the Strip, you have Red Rock National Canyon, you have or Re National Park, State Park, you have Lee Canyon up there if you want to ski or snowboard, and then you still just have like downtown Summerlin and like all the activities out here. It's pretty great. Summerlin's amazing because you get the best of both worlds. Like, you know, it, it's calm, quiet, amazing neighborhoods, awesome food options. Um, but when you want to get in the mix of it and go to the Strip, it's a 20-minute drive away. Uh, we can get to Red Rock Canyon in no time. Mount Charleston's behind us. We literally are spoiled where we are. A lot of things, but um, I would say just, just being a master plan community, I think they have a little bit more control than the city would over development and, and standards. So, yeah, that's probably the driving force, yeah. Summerlin is amazing. It is a beautiful place to live. It is clean. It's new. Um, it's just a very convenient place to live. And in Las Vegas, I feel like it's easy to get everywhere. And just the best of everything that Vegas has to offer is in Summerlin, in my opinion. I love downtown Summerlin, but I would say it's very like versatile. Like You can go to Red Rock if you want, shopping if you want. Um, there's great like bike trails. So there's a lot to do. It's very fun. What I love about Summerlin is the fact that the homes here are absolutely beautiful. We have some modern mansions in these guard gated neighborhoods. It just feels like you are living such a bougie lifestyle when you're here. And then of course the shopping malls that we have, they have fountains, they have all the best stores. It's just the go-to place where you can, you know, bring your family and and have a good time. We've got a lot of families here. I even went to high school here, and I just think that it's a wonderful place to create community. Do you have any favorite activities that are your go-tos? Ooh, trying new restaurants, and there's a plethora, or plethora of new restaurants, or just amazing restaurants, uh, especially west of the Strip, so trying new restaurants of different cuisines. My favorite things to do in Summerlin, well, I live like less than 10 minutes from Red Rock Canyon, I'm a photographer, so I love that I'm close to that. Um, I love going out there. It's like nice to get out and get in nature. Um, we've got great shopping at downtown Summerlin. So anything that you would want to do, like go out to eat, go to a movie, go to, you know, like 
a fun lounge or bar that's all available. In Is there anything you don't like about living in Summerlin? Sometimes you run into the uh, the entitled folks, and that uh, that's kind of discouraging. But that's far and few between. The wildlife that comes into Summerlin West from Red Rock State Park is it State Park National Park? I don't know. Whatever whatever Red Rock is over there. Yeah, the wildlife that comes into our neighborhood from there. Uh oh. What what's uh, what's coming? Oh, there's been like foxes and maybe mountain lions. I don't know. Just cats of that are wild, feral cats, yeah. And then the Summerland teenagers, they're a little wild. They're just a little rambunctious. Honestly, <laughs> when you put me on the spot, I legitimately can't think of anything bad. I mean, it's funny, like maybe sometimes it takes 30 minutes to get to the strip, but in most large cities, like that's nothing. So I don't know, There's, I, I can't think of too many downsides to be honest. Maybe the wind. I live in a, I live like really close to the mountains. It does get windy, but that's like the worst of our weather. So it's not that bad. Not so far. No, <laughs> knock on wood. Yeah, it's still early, but yeah. I think in Vegas in general, it's like hot and windy, and I miss like being around green and stuff like that. That's definitely missing in Summerlin. But if I were going to pick anywhere in the Las Vegas Valley to live, Summerlin is the best by a mile. There's a random season where there'll be like, was it like crickets or something? Do you know what I'm talking about? Where they're like, just like flying everywhere on the ground and it's like so random. Oh, or the winters. People do not know that like Vegas does get cold. Or like, what, like 30, 40 degrees? Like to me that's freezing, but I don't know, that's basically it. I love Summerlin, it's fun. Man, I can't think of any one thing in particular that sucks about Summerlin. The only thing I would say is it would be great if we could have uh, a place that was like um, something that you would find on the strip for live music and dancing. However, we have that now at the Durango, the Bel Air Lounge. That's a fun place to go, but it's a little bit outside of Summerlin. We love Durango Casino. It just opened here in November. It's amazing. A lot of locals go and spend time there, so highly recommend checking it out. Well, last question. What do you think about Henderson? Oh, Hendertucky. Oh, it's a <laughs> great it's a great place to visit. Absolutely. No, did not consider Henderson. My brother and sister-in-law have lived in Summerlin for the better part of the last eight or nine years, so it was a pretty clear-cut decision once we decided we wanted to get out of L.A. If you asked me four years ago, I would have said Henderson 100%. <laughs> Now I'm I'm a Summerlin guy. Like the restaurants are, it's just everything's just better. The houses are newer, the restaurants are better. We have better mountains like Henderson. They're just hills. We're, we're it's just it's better Summerlin for sure. Henderson sucks. I I mean it just does. It's like a it's like a wannabe Summerlin. It's nowhere even near as good. And I've lived in both places. I lived in Henderson for like two or three years, and it's just. Summerlin's way better. <laughs> I don't really go there. I feel like <laughs> I feel like if you live in Summerlin, you kind of stay there, and like if you live in Henderson, you kind of stay there because it's like a 45-minute drive for like the same vibe plus 10 degrees hotter. So I'm like, might as well just stay on my stomping grounds. You know what I mean? Easy, Summerlin. <laughs> no explanation needed. When you know, you know. You just gotta pull up to Summerlin, and that question will be very easy for you to answer. I love that. <laughs> our our Summerlin hype woman here, Shayna. We love it. Thank you, Howard Hughes. We love it here. <laughs> okay, so let's back it up to Summerlin's beginnings. Summerlin started its development in 1990 by the Howard Hughes Corporation. Summerlin is a 22 and a half thousand acre master plan community, which equals to about 35 square miles. Summerlin is located on the western edge of the Las Vegas Valley, along the Spring Mountains and the Red Rock Canyon. Summerlin was named after Howard Hughes' grandmother, Jean Amelia Summerlin. Summerlin is consistently voted as one of the top master plan communities in the United States now for over three decades. Summerlin features over 230 parks, more than 25 public and private schools, 10 golf courses, three resort hotels and casinos, four if we wanna count the Durango Casino, which just opened in November. It's technically not in Summerlin, but it's on the border, 10 minutes give or take, 
and it's one of my favorite places. So let's just throw it in there since it's so close by. Miles of hiking and biking trails, retail and entertainment centers, amazing restaurants, well-established office parks, and medical centers. The center of Summerlin is located in downtown Summerlin around the Red Rock Casino. And downtown Summerlin is not your typical downtown. There's no courthouses. Instead, there is shopping, there is dining, there's casinos, there's movie theaters, there's apartment buildings, there is baseball park and grocery stores, parks, all kinds of stuff. Downtown Summerlin is a gathering place for a lot of the Summerlin locals. On Saturdays, there is a big farmer's market in downtown Summerlin. There's also workout studios, furniture stores, a playground. I myself go to downtown Summerlin often. I go to that Saturday farmer's market. I get my baklava there. There's jewelry, there's food, there's fresh fruit. I also go to a workout studio in downtown Summerlin called True Fusion. It's one of my favorite studios. They have hot Pilates, they have hot yoga, they have reformer classes, everything that you could think of, kettlebells. It's really such a great studio, so I go there all the time. Downtown Summerlin is very walkable, and it's actually one of the most walkable parts of Summerlin. Right next to downtown Summerlin, there are a lot of apartments that are popping up. There's grocery stores. If you're someone who is looking for that walkable lifestyle, downtown Summerlin is a really great place for that. Right next to downtown Summerlin is the Las Vegas ballpark. It is the minor league baseball team, the Las Vegas Aviators. There is also Red Rock Casino that is right across the parking lot of downtown Summerlin, which is one of Summerlin's famed casinos where a lot of locals spend their time featuring amazing restaurants, a spa, a hotel, a resort style pool, and so much more. One of the many things that makes Summerlin so great is the fact that it is so new and a lot of planning and foresight went into the development of this master plan community. The community has garnered numerous awards for its innovative design and sustainability features. One of the things you'll notice about Summerlin is how well maintained the landscaping is all around the community. There's a really big focus on sustainability. They use a lot of desert landscaping and well manicured palm trees. You won't really see a lot of natural grass because the community is really sustainable in its practices. They're working to conserve water. Obviously, as I've mentioned in past videos, and a lot of people know about this, there is a water shortage, so they're really doing their best to conserve water with these landscaping elements. The community is also very accessible as the 215 and Summerlin Parkway intersect right in the middle of Summerlin, allowing you easy access on and off the freeways and easy access to the Las Vegas Strip and the airport, or if you're going the other way to Northwest Las Vegas and Mount Charleston. One thing I wanna note about Summerlin is you won't really see a lot of traffic there, even at rush hour. Well, yes, there might be some traffic getting to Summerlin at rush hour, but once you're there, it does not feel very crowded. And this really speaks to the design of this master plan community and how well thought out the whole community was from the start. You'll see a lot of roundabouts, which you won't really see in other parts of Las Vegas, which really help streamline the flow of traffic and increase safety. The roads are really wide, everything is new, and there are plenty of exits off the freeway, so it creates a lot of efficiency. So if you miss an exit, there's one just a mile down the road. While we're on the subject of roads, there's actually a lot of bike paths that wind along and through Summerlin and alongside the roads. There's actually a path called the 215 Beltway, which runs along the 215 freeway and it provides miles and miles of bike paths. And it's pretty easy to get on and off. Actually, someone I know posted a story recently riding her bike. She's a big biker. She was riding along the 215 and I asked her where she was and she said, it's the 215 Beltway. So it's a really great place for bikers that want to go for longer rides or someone that's commuting on their bikes. If biking isn't your thing, but hiking might be, well, Summerlin is also great for hiking. 
and there are miles and miles of hikes all around Summerlin, ranging from beginner to moderate to strenuous. So there's different hikes and different options for every level of hiker. There's many hikes all around Summerlin, including the Red Rock Canyon Arroyo, the Petroglyph Wall, Cottonwood Canyon Trail, while not your traditional hiking trail, but Exploration Peak Park in Mountain's Edge, offers a scenic summit trail leading to a Western Fort with panoramic views of the Las Vegas Valley. And while we're on the subject of hiking and the outdoors, Summerlin also has an extensive network of parks. As I mentioned, over 230 of them featuring tennis court, pickleball court, basketball court, and open fields for sports like soccer. Some of these parks include the Crossing Park, the Vistas Park, Paseos Park, Cottonwood Canyon Park, and for you tennis players, the Arbors, tennis park. I could go on and on about the parks in Summerlin. As I said, there are over 230 of these, but that is a really big focus of Summerlin is providing these beautiful outdoor spaces for residents and their kids and their animals to spend time outdoors. Summerlin is also known for its golf courses. Everyone raves about them. Summerlin particularly has 10 golf courses with the crown jewel and one of the most famous of them all being the TPC Summerlin. With over 300 days of sunshine, Las Vegas is a massive golf destination, especially in those winter months when it's snowing in other states. So a lot of people come out to Las Vegas, especially Summerlin and hit the course. And on the subject of snow, Summerlin might actually be one of the only places in the Las Vegas Valley where one will see snow in the winter because Summerlin is a little bit higher in elevation than the rest of the Las Vegas Valley. It's above 3,500 feet. So in the winter months, it does tend to snow because it is a couple of degrees cooler than the rest of the valley. And on the opposite side, in the summer, you will also find that it is a couple of degrees cooler. And you know, on those hot 110 degree days, those couple of degrees do really make a difference. And when I say snow, I don't mean that there's gonna be powder that's sticking to the ground for days. No, no, no. We don't get that kind of snow here in Summerlin but you will see snow flurries. There might be snow on the ground for a couple of hours in the morning, but it does melt by the afternoon. One of my good friends lives in the Reverence community, which backs up to Red Rock Canyon, so right there in Summerlin, and I've definitely gotten photos from them when I've been on the strip at my condo, and their backyard was filled with snow. When we've had no precipitation on the strip, which is, only about 20 minutes away. So it's obvious that Summerlin is a great place to live. So now let's talk about what it costs to live here. On average, the median price point of a home in Summerlin is definitely higher than the rest of the Las Vegas Valley. To be exact, the median price point of a single family home in Summerlin is 645,000 as of April of 2024. That's actually up 17% over last year. The median sale price in Summerlin per square foot is $328 per square foot. So as I mentioned, the median price point of a single family home in Summerlin is 645,000. So let's pull up Zillow and see what you can get for that price point here in Summerlin. So I'm taking a look here on Zillow and I've pulled up a home that is four bed, three bath, 1,930 square foot, right in the heart of Summerlin. That's priced at 649,000. And this is $336 per square foot. So right in our target price point. So let's take a look here, beautifully remodeled, bright white, nice flooring, remodeled, nice carpet, beautiful backyard with a pool and remodeled kitchen. While 645 is the median price point, you can find homes in Summerlin starting in the high 300s into the 400s and the 500s. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up another listing on Zillow. This is a home that's priced at 364,900. It's a two bed, two bath, 1,165 square feet. We're at $313 per square foot on this one. Beautiful walkway in, nice and bright, big windows. 
Pretty updated kitchen. Not really fully new appliances, but not original. Washer and dryer, decent sized bedrooms, and looks like a two car garage. And a great backyard. Okay, so now let's have some fun and look at some of the most expensive homes that you could find in Summerlin. I'm not gonna lie, Summerlin is home to some luxurious properties. I oftentimes browse through the MLS or Zillow just to see what kind of crown jewels are out there, what kind of jaw-dropping properties are out there. As some of you might know, there are some celebrities that live in Summerlin. They do live in these exclusive gated communities. Mark Wahlberg, being one of them. He's bringing Hollywood to Summerlin, let's go. I personally am very excited about that. Okay, so let's have some fun. Currently, the two most expensive homes listed on the market in Summerlin right now are 24,500,000 and 21,450,000. So the $24 million home is a six bedroom, 11 bath. Okay, let's talk about this. Who needs 11 bathrooms? Why 11? And what do you do with all of them? Leave a comment and let me know what you would do with 11 bathrooms. It's a 15,000 square foot home and it is stunning. Let's take a look at these photos real quick. Beautifully decorated grand piano, massive living room, massive closet, massive bathroom. I've used the word massive way too many times in describing this home, but I don't know what else to say. It's located on the TPC Summerlin Golf Course. Magnificent views, true luxury living. Okay, so now let's look at this $21 million home. It is five bedroom, eight baths, so not quite so excessive with the bathrooms. And it is 14,918 square feet. Built in 2009, and we are at $1,438 per square foot on this one. So this home, I would buy it. It is nestled up against a mountain. It is in the prestigious community called The Ridges. This home, in the description, it says it's triple gated. No one is getting into this home. It's got beautiful indoor-outdoor living, stunning strip views, an outdoor bathtub, yes please, and this home is just the crown jewel. I mean, it is beautifully decorated. It is luxury at its finest. The Ridges is one of Summerlin's most prestigious communities. It is where the rich and famous live. And like I said, it is triple gated. So no one is getting into this community. Okay, so enough about the luxury properties. As you could tell, Summerlin is home to a variety of housing options, starting in the 300,000s and ending in the 20 million. And there's a big range in between. You have here condos, townhomes, single family homes, massive estates. So there's something for everyone here in Summerlin. Next up, I'm gonna cover a couple of different demographics. Starting with people with families and kids, Summerlin is home to 11 nationally recognized private schools and 16 public schools, several colleges, and specialized higher education facilities. The schools in Summerlin are a part of the Clark County School District, which covers the entire Las Vegas Valley. Taking a look at greatschools.org, which is a great resource for looking up schools in the Summerlin zip code, some of the top ranked schools include College of Southern Nevada High School West, ranked 10 out of 10, Palo Verde High School, ranked nine out of 10, Faith Lutheran Middle School and High School, also ranked very high. That's just to name a few. There are a lot of great options for all levels of schooling here in Summerlin, both public and private and specialty schools. So check out greatschools.org as a resource if you're looking for schools in the Summerlin area. Okay, moving on to a different demographic. If you are someone who is 55 plus, Summerlin offers plenty of great retirement communities, some of which include Sun City Summerlin, which is the largest and most well-known retirement community in Las Vegas, has three golf courses, multiple community centers, pools, fitness facilities, tennis courts, and numerous clubs and social activities. Within this community, you can find single family homes, townhomes, and condos ranging widely in price. 
which allows people with different budgets an entry point into this community. But there's many more communities in Summerlin for 55 and plus demographic, including Siena, Regency at Summerlin, which is a newer active adult community offering resort style amenities and low maintenance living. And another one I'll mention is Trilogy in Summerlin. This is a newer community as well. This is a community that I've myself been to many of times. One of my great friends, parents live within this community and they're actually still building within this community. So it's been around for several years and they're still working on it. It has a beautiful fitness center, a really nice resort style pool, and overall the community is just so nice, so well maintained. There's plenty of walking paths and just stunning mountain views. This community is located just a few minutes from downtown Summerlin, so the proximity to everything is really great. Now moving on to the younger demographic, someone who is perhaps not ready for a single family home yet, Summerlin offers a lot of great apartment options. There are new apartment buildings popping up constantly. There's a new apartment complex that recently opened that's called the Echo. I myself have been there. A friend of mine lives in that apartment building and I will tell you, it is so nice. It's new. It has a beautiful resort style pool and it has the most epic strip views from the library clubhouse area. Just breathtaking and also the apartments have uh, views of the mountains as well so strip view and mountain view but outside of this apartment complex there are so many other options for people who perhaps maybe prefer apartment style living over single family homes of course less maintenance a little bit easier there's a lot of options for apartments in Summerlin for a variety of different price points so there's definitely a lot to choose from. Before we move on from housing, I want to highlight a couple of the more affordable villages here in Summerlin. One of them is the Arbors. The Arbors is actually one of the original villages in Summerlin. Also includes single family homes, townhomes, and condos. In this village, you'll find homes that are priced more modestly compared to the other villages. Pueblo is a really attractive option in Summerlin for families and individuals who are looking for more of that entry level price point into Summerlin living. On the other side of the spectrum, some of the most luxurious areas of Summerlin include the Ridges, which I talked about earlier, where we saw that $21 million home as well as the Summit Club. These areas are gated, they are really focused on security, and that's where you will find a lot of the celebrities living there and a lot of people who are really craving that level of security. One last thing I will touch on is new construction. Summerlin is home to a variety of different new home builders, including Pulte Homes, Toll Brothers, KB Homes, Lennar. In an earlier video, I toured one of the new build communities called Reverence. A friend of mine lives in that community, so I visit it quite often. It started being built in 2017, and this gated community is lodged right up against the Red Rock Canyon. And Reverence was built by Pulte Homes, and there is actually a new Reverence community being built right now. It is called Monument at Reverence. In this community, you'll find townhomes that start in the mid 400s that are two and three story with beautiful mountain and strip views. And these new home builders are offering rate buy down. So these rates are more competitive than if you were to buy a resale home. A lot of these builders are offering incentives for closing costs and just a lot of other incentives. So if you're looking for a brand new home, Summerlin is home to so many of the different builders and you can also get a variety of different options. Since this is a comprehensive guide on Summerlin, I'm also gonna cover the employers that are here in Summerlin. Like I mentioned, there are a lot of new home builders building here in Summerlin at a feverish pace, so there are a lot of construction jobs available. The Howard Hughes Corporation is a big employer here in Summerlin and a primary developer of the master plan community. Summerlin is also home to a lot of medical and healthcare jobs as it has a large medical center. 
the Summerlin Hospital Medical Center, which employs a lot of people. There are quite a few other medical centers that are in and around Summerlin. Mountain View Hospital, Southern Hills Hospital Medical Center. Moving on from hospitals, the Clark County School District is also a very large employer in Summerlin. And it goes without saying that retail and hospitality is another big employer here in Summerlin. Everything from Red Rock Casino to downtown Summerlin to all of the amazing restaurants all around this community. And that's not just for Summerlin. As you know, Las Vegas itself is home to world-class dining, hospitality, entertainment. So this in itself brings a lot of those jobs to the whole entire valley, not just Summerlin. If you found this super guide useful and still have more questions, please reach out to me. I would be more than happy to connect and answer any and all questions that you have about living in Summerlin. And if you're ready to make the move to Summerlin, let's hop on a call and talk about the next step. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.